product does not gray hair but what it does is to help maintain your hair so you can see results okay so just keep it simple and you will see results by taking these simple steps hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Kayan if you are new here in today's video as a, as a all can see in the title I'm here to share with you guys how I get my hair from this to this right here so if this is something that you are interested in then keep watching till the end all right so the first step that i take was to create an hair routine the first thing i did was to create an hair routine that works for me so i have to figure out how often i'm going to wash my hair how often i will be moisturizing i will be trimming and all those stuff so that was the first thing i did was to create an hair routine the next step is to moisturize 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 Moisturizing your hair is so important in your hair growth journey because if you do not moisturize your hair, it will become dry and dryness is going to lead to breakage and breakage is the number one cause of you not seeing results in your natural hair journey. So ensure that you are keeping your hair moisturized as often as possible. Alright, it is so important. So next up is trimming your hair regularly yes i know it does not make your hair grow any faster but what it does is to trim away those split ends so you can start seeing results because split ends is going to lead to breakage and that is what we are trying to avoid so we can start seeing results so don't be afraid to trim away those split ends just trim them away and your hair will look much more healthier next up is stop using heat i do not use heat for no reason i don't use heat like it does not make any sense for me especially where i am living i am actually a jamaican so once i even blow dry my hair and went outside my hair will be just the same as it was before so I really don't flat iron my hair, I do not blow dry my hair whenever I have a wash day. I will just put my hair into a few twists and allow it to hair dry. But I don't use heat. Yes. But if you are someone that use heat, I will recommend just limit it a bit. Just limit it. Alright. Next up is protective style and hair meal. There's a lot of people who misunderstand this protective style thing all right so yes it is important to give your hair a break by doing a protective style and just leave it to rest leave it to grow but be mindful of some of these style that you're using to do protective style not every style that you that put your hair away is protecting your hair some of this style is causing so many damage to your hair so be mindful of the style that you are using the next thing is to be mindful of how long you are keeping in the braid for like don't keep a braid for too long like three months two months that is too much your hair need to be moisturized your hair need to shampoo your hair need to take care of yes you are seeing new growth but what happens when you pull down those braids you are going to have so many split ends because your hair was away for too long it could, it could not be moisturized so you are going to have so many split ends and then you have to you will have to cut away or clip away those split ends so just be mindful of how long you keep those braid in for okay next up is to keep your scalp clean please don't overlook that you have to maintain your scalp as much as all you are maintaining your hair and your hair ends your scalp is where your hair is growing from so ensuring that you are keeping it clean i would recommend you washing your hair every other week or at least once per week if that is something that you can keep up with okay as i said you have to create a routine that works for you but ensuring that you are taking care of your scalp as much as all you are taking care of your ear ends next is to angle or angling your hair with care 
Whenever you are taking down your braid, take your time. Whenever you are detangling your hair, just take your time. If you are removing your last kit from your hair, just be patient. Don't just, if it not, don't just rip it out. I would encourage you to just take your scissors and just cut away the, that knot. But just be patient with your hair and don't tear your hair. It will cause more breakage. So be as, as patient as possible with your hair. Next up is the deep condition ear here. If that is not part of your routine, I would recommend you start doing it. It really helped me a lot. It helped to strengthen my hair. When I include deep conditioning in my hair routine, I definitely see a major, a major difference. My hair look much healthier, much stronger, and it really does work for me. Best believe me, deep condition really works for me. So I would recommend you start doing deep conditioning at least every other week. I deep condition my hair whenever I did my wash day routine. Alright, if you don't have one, you can make one at home. You can do your DIY hair mask. That is what really helped me too. I love to make my DIY hair mask. Next is to limit the product you are using in your hair. So I am not saying you do not need your product. I'm just saying to be mindful of the product that you are using because some of these products have in chemical that will definitely damage your hair. You do not need all these products to get your hair to grow. Product does not grow your hair, but what it does is to help maintain your hair so you can see results in your natural hair journey. Okay, so just keep it simple and you will see results. Last tip is to protect your hair whenever you are asleep. If you're not using a silk pillowcase, then ensure, ensure that you are, you are sleeping in your night cap to protect your hair whenever you are sleeping at night. All right guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys understand what I was trying to explain. Yeah, so we are at the end of the video. So please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share and turn on the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I drop another video. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.